all right in this code we are going to see how to create the infinite stagger effect on the icons now you can see individual icon is getting the class rotation so once it completes the full uh, once it completes the full three icons it starts again so let's see what I what I have done now just to show you the HTML we are just targeting the image with class rotate so you can see all the images has class rotate and uh, I'm adding a class called rotate icon and it will just rotate the icon with the help of CSS animation from 0 degree to 3 degree 360 degree with the help of animation function so that's enough for the HTML and CSS now we have to look into the JavaScript so I'm calling a function that will call once the page gets loaded so the very first thing what I'm doing is I'm just getting all the images with class rotate and I'm storing into a variable which is all icons now I'm running a for loop and this for loop will run a set timeout function and this set timeout will run every two seconds let's say every two seconds and uh, in every two second the for loop will access individual image and add the class rotate icon so we don't have to as of now we don't have to look for this line of code let me just explain you once again this for loop will access individual rotate icon and add the class which actually has the animation rotate icon so I hope this is clear so except this lines of code what really happens is it will access individual image and it will apply the class rotate icon every two milliseconds every two seconds so that's done so what I'm doing is I'm just checking the index once it reaches the last image I'm again running a set timeout function which will call the parent rotation function so uh, let me explain again once it reaches to the last icon it will call the same function which was responsible for looping the image rotation once again if you don't get understand if you don't understand what I'm saying just uh, fast forward uh, back back forward it and uh, revisit again and you'll be able to understand uh, as I said once it reaches to the last image it will again call the parent function which is responsible for adding uh, which is responsible for adding the class rotate icon cool so before adding rotate icon we actually have to remove the function remove the added class so on complete one rotation the class rotate icon will be there let me just con inspect and show you let me just check the last icon so refresh it one first first one got rotation second one got rotation and third one also got rotation so once third one got rotation after two millisecond the rotate icon will get disappeared how it will get disappeared let me uncover this and show you I am just hovering on the third icon and refreshing it first class got, first image got uh, class second image also got class third image also got class and after two second it gets disappeared so the it gets disappeared because of this function I have run a, I have run a for loop on all the images and remove the added class rotate icon once the rotate icon class is removed from all the images and then we can reapply it with the help of the same function which was responsible for adding all the uh, or it which was responsible for adding images on all I'm, I'm sorry I'm just getting confused so I hope this is clear it will just remove all the added class and uh, once again it will add the same parent function the parent function is this one you can see it's getting highlighted uh, so for the description box thank you so much for listening